Yo guys, let's talk about Bitcoin and let's try to do it fairly quickly because only three minutes to do this video and there is a lot of interesting things to know before the weekend. So first things I want to show you uh, is the volume. We don't have volume here. You see the volume is represented here and it's very low uh, compared to, uh, to July. You know, when things went up, uh, we had a lot of volume. It's clear here. Yeah? You can see the volume is high, but here it's not. Um, we are stuck between the 48k and uh, 44k. One, in, one very weird thing is the US dollar uh, boost, uh, goes very bullish. Gold uh, been influenced. Everything else, everything has reacted to it except Bitcoin. Bitcoin didn't react. We still flat. We still ranging. So that's kind of it's a bit a bit weird. And what it means? Are we not uh, caring anymore about the US dollar or? Uh, what, what happened? So we will see for sure soon. Uh, however, uh, we don't want to go lower than this 44k because uh, then that takes us to the 41k and then uh, all the way uh, down to here 40, uh, 38k. And that's of course going to uh, hurt a lot of people if, if they are in a long position. As you can see, uh, the map, everything is, is pretty low huh, today, pretty uh, down. Um, and if we look at the, uh, at the CME, uh, all the liquidation and stuff, you can clearly see in July, we had a lot of liquidation going on on the downside, on the short. But uh, as per the last, uh, bah, this week, hein, everything is uh, from people doing long position. So if you're on a long position, bah, you see, uh, they get uh, mostly, uh, especially the last three days, hein, since 15 of September, it's a lot of, uh, lot of liquidation for the long position. So that's not so good. Uh, we have this uh, indicators neutral. Okay, that's cool. Uh, but that doesn't mean much because that can move, and move within 30 minutes. Another interesting thing, and after that I will end the video, is uh, people using the Elliott uh, Impulse Wave. You can see uh, we got uh, we started here, so we, we I'm going to trace it. Wave one, wave uh, two, three, four. Now and uh, and now we should go up. Okay, that's how it looks like normally before there is anything else, any uh, any downtrend. And usually the four. Wave 4 is never going lower than the uh, wave 1 and it's still indeed above. So that's validated and that means we should maybe that's the end of this uh, downtrend and our wave 4 is, is really uh, structured and not going to be structured on here or later on. On that case, okay, we go for a bullish trend. Uh, but that that is only uh, for those people using uh, Elliott Impulse, that kind of it's an interesting indicator and it's still validated. So why not? Why not? Now the last things, sorry, I forgot there is one of other things, is our uh, option call next week for 24th of September, last Friday of the month. That's always the biggest uh, day for that. And you can see uh, massive open call interest and we are back into the 50 to 64K. Of course, this can change every morning. So um, it's not always as, as accurate as I'm showing you now. Tomorrow might change. I mean, every Monday to for a Friday, so not tomorrow, but Monday, it, everything might have changed. So, um, but so far it has been like this for like a week, huh? even two weeks, I think. So we should be back into our 50K. And on that case, that would mean we are back into a, a bullish trend. However, let's keep being uh, careful. If we go lower than the 44K, uh, there is big chance we go to the 41, then 38. So guys, be careful. This weekend is going to be flat as usual, I guess, unless something crazy comes up. But uh, that's it for the moment. You guys have a nice weekend. I see you for uh, more uh, technical analysis. And see you around. Bye bye.